All right. So the underlying energy is the nine of wands. Underneath that is the emperor. So y'all trying to stay strong right now. Trying not to really call in, like, you know, not throw in the towel per se. You know what I mean? Because you guys got new things coming in. Y'all know that you guys got new things coming in. Exciting new things happening. And it has to do with either someone from the past. This may have to do with uh, a feeling of love that you may have, you know, re, you know, rediscovered within yourself. And you're just loving the energy. Um, um, but it's like you're it's exhausted. It took you a lot to get to this point. You guys are really tired right now. And it may have just been that you guys were working so hard to make, um, the, you know, to get to this point where you could be in love. Where you could feel good. But y'all are still in fighting mode. You're still fighting for it okay like there's definitely something that you're still going for and it could be that this is there's somebody here around you right now that that's really that's fighting for you all right it's interesting you get three people in a row three in a row on horses okay i don't think that's a coincidence there's a lot of progress but i feel like the progress has a lot to do with you know the changes that are coming in some of you guys may not necessarily be open to those changes because look at how the knight of swords is he's running towards this direction while the other two the emotional things are following in line scorpio and pisces energy are moving in the same direction while the air energy is moving in an opposite direction so i kind of get this feeling there's like a really weird push and pull there's a little bit of a really weird resistance some of you guys may be that you may be trying to move on from something but something else is coming in to interfere with that and that's why your guard is up because you're not really interested in finding somebody you just want to go ahead and move through the process some of you guys may be apprehensive about changing the course and not necessarily ready to let something go change something tr you know move something in a different direction it could be something like that but it's honestly like it, it i don't know i feel like it's this situation has a lot to do with our perspective because of the hangman right what do you see what what is this meant for you to um understand because there is stagnation there's nothing going on and the knight of swords is the thing that's holding everything up because it's the only thing that's going in the in a, in a direction that has nothing to do with you know like it's just like he's going one way the other people are going the other way and that can what does that look like a traffic jam that makes sense for this to come up like that because of the traffic jam so i don't know if you got somebody around you right now that's cock blocking you or fighting you on something resisting with you there could be some headbutting you're almost like you're not ready to give up on the on the, on the relationship um but or, but the situation is still really exhausting because somebody's so adamant about it but I like how the Ace of Wands is right here, right? This talks about a rekindling of an old flame. This card talks about a, a new beginning regarding creativity, like something that's, you know, towards your passion, something that um, influences creativity. Like there's something here with the Ace of Wands that's starting for y'all and is definitely in the, you know, in a very passionate direction. But I just want to know what this is. So why do we got the Knight of Swords coming up for a quirk? Okay. The page of cups either somebody is expressing their emotions or feelings to you maybe you're expressing your emotions or feelings to you the reason why the knight of swords is coming at you in this way is because they're really adamant about expressing their feelings really adamant like i always see the knight of swords as someone that's tunnel visioning a situation tunnel visioning their truth you know what i mean i don't know why this does this there we go. You know what I mean? Because I think somebody find uh, somebody has something to communicate, something to say about how they feel, and it's not necessarily, I guess, oof, like it's coming in quickly. Either this is you communicating to someone or someone else communicating with you. But I kind of get the sense that the reason why there is this fast moving energy in a in the opposite direction of where you're headed which is or where it's leading which is releasing something surrendering hey man right surrendering to something is because there's something up with the with the page of cups and i feel like it has a lot to do with the past right it's almost like you're not willing to let go of something from the past but that's letting go will ultimately transform something too 
Like there's a huge transition here. Because the nine of wands, in my opinion, um, has, I mean, I feel like it could be the control factor because the emperor was was underneath the, the nine of wands. Maybe there's someone around you that really wants to control a situation. Um, and it's not because they're like control, you know, rude and wanting to take over everything. They're not tyrants. But I kind of get this feeling that the person who wants to control something because it makes them feel safe. It gives them security because they trust themselves more than they trust anyone else. And the situation here looks like there's a lot to do with trusting and seeing things and not really taking a lot of action. So with death being your best path to follow, I kind of feel like this is really asking, maybe the situation is like calling for there to be transition change, but change to what exactly? What are we changing to? What are we changing from? Cause I'm not even quite sure. Cause how this situation is going here with the with the Knight of Cups in the, in the future like that, that's telling me that someone's coming in to express their emotions. This is someone that you may have known for a while, an old lover. Oh, man. Why is the High Priestess coming up for the death card? Why? What is the High Priestess supposed to tell us with that death energy? The Eight of Cups. All right, so you're tired, right, fam? You're tired, you're exhausted, but you're still fighting for something. It's something that you love, but I kind of feel like you've done everything that you needed to. I kind of get the sense that everything that you've done so far was towards the relationship, towards the connection. You know, it was also towards maybe healing yourself. Like you've done a lot of great things. And even though you're still like, let's fight for it, let's do it. I kind of get this vibe that you have nothing left to give. You're emotionally drained because the Eight of Cups is coming up. And the High Priestess, I see that when I see the Eight of Cups and High Priestess, I feel like that's something that needs to replenish their emotional energy. Which is like, I think the mind is like, yeah, let's continue to fight. But the Knight of Cups is like, no, let's retreat. Let's go within the South. Let's try to start healing. And death is usually after the uh, after the hangman energy. So I find it very interesting that this is very, you know, different, you know. But I kind of get the feeling that not only requires that you're really tired, but there's not much you need to do at this point. I think everything, honestly, has to just come to you now. Because you have done the work. You've put in the effort. You're exhausted right now, and that's okay. It works in your favor because there's some things personally that you may have to, you know, figure out, or uh, something personally that you have to sort it out. That honestly will require you to take your attention off of the eight, you know, the page of cups, the love, the the small rekindling love. But I feel like too, like I feel like the Knight of Swords is fighting against the 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 basic needs of yourself. Like you have a mission in mind, you have a desire, you have something you want to go for, but I feel like there's something internally that needs to be taken care of, needs patience, and needs time to really be, you know, nurtured and loved on and healed. And I kind of get the sense that with the death energy, the high priestess and the eight cups, it's like it's time to just be out, like just accept that you've done everything that you needed to and just focus on the self, not worry too much about what you're doing or what you need to do, but more of like how much love or how much time you need to put into yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys have already done this or, or isn't are in the process of doing that. And I feel like in a really weird way, the Eight of Cups is saying like, even though you're walking away or you're leaving some situation alone at the moment, it doesn't mean that this is like the final chapter. Death is not necessarily a final chapter. It's a transition. So whatever you're leaving behind, you're also opening the door to a new beginning, showing openness. I think some of you guys are, it's really about perhaps some of you guys letting your guard down a little bit. Some of you guys are accepting new people to come in. Either it's because somebody had reminded you of a time where you used to be, you know, more open, it was more innocent, so you didn't know, you didn't have the need or the feeling to be defensive. Some of you guys, it may be that you know, you want to be happy again. You remember a time when you could be happy and you do, you realize now that it doesn't have to be this only one time where you can be happy. It may require you to fight against what you know or what you, not necessarily what you know, but what you've, you know, what you're conscientious of 
um, um, and just kind of allow yourself to, you know, to be open to someone and utilize the boundaries that you've created over this time. Because I kind of get this vibe that some of you guys not necessarily are resisting people, trying to let people in, but more like you guys want a community. I think you guys want more friends. I think you guys want to be surrounded by people that you love. But of course, this is a fight in itself, like almost like you're fighting within yourself to let this happen. But it's like also it's like you're not you know you're not cruel to yourself but at the same time it's like you have your it's like going into a really old house that has an old security system you're trying to re-circuit the security system you're trying to rework it and the only way you have to rework it is by allowing yourself into it because if you can't shut that you know the security system down the cops are going to come people are going to be like what the hell are you doing why are you breaking into this house so this is kind of what it looks like you're rewiring your security system because there's things that are in your life right now that you you know that are not moving there's things in your life that are not moving there's just too much stuff going in two different directions as a tug and pull excuse me it's a push and pull rather because there's too many things going in one direction i feel like the influence to be open is a bigger as a bigger influence but the nine of swords is determined he doesn't give up nine of one nine of wands and the emperor doesn't give up so you got a lot of strong energy around you that really talks about there being a push and pull and it could be because of something that happened in the past that you do love and you cherish deeply but it still hurts you in some way I never see the in six of cups as something that's bad, but it can kind of it can shine a light on possibilities of happiness. You know, of it can remind us of times of when we were happy and encourage us to go for it, or it can kind of make us feel like that's the only time that we'll ever be happy. But I think you also notice that the only time this is you know only time you've ever been happy is because you is when you allowed it to happen. And I think that's what the fighting is now. You know that that allowing has to happen. And it's hard because that defensive energy has gotten you through a lot. But you guys are done with being, you know, being alone. You guys are done with, with fighting off people. You're done with fighting off, you know, options or fighting off people, period. Because yeah look at that the five of pentacles this is for the hangman yeah you don't have a lot right now and it's because i don't think it's necessarily all you like i don't think you you know i think it's not just that you kind of depleted yourself in a way because you just kind of been you know your own source right I don't think it's wrong to have your own source of food, but I don't think it's absolutely terrible to, you know, to eat someone else's fruits and vegetables, to be a community and share that. I think that's why you guys love it so much because nobody has to run out. You know, maybe we'd be lacking in some, some stuff certain seasons and that's where people come in, right? Maybe you can't provide yourself with everything that you need in every season. Some of you guys can, right? Some people can. And maybe I'm wrong in regards to that, but I kind of get this feeling with the Five of Pentacles is that you're running on empty somewhere. Not completely. Not completely. But you're running empty somewhere. And it's not because you don't have enough love for yourself to do it. Some of you guys may be the case. But I kind of just feel like it's it's isolating. And it's not expansive. Not to mention going and putting yourself out there is a seriously big struggle. You know what I mean? Going out there and putting yourself out there is a really big struggle, but it's doable. It's something that you're willing to do because this, this three of cups is something that you want. I feel like you guys want a community. You guys want friends. You guys either want to reconnect with someone from the past. You got three cards that reference someone that's come back from the past Four, excuse me. Some of you guys may be resisting the idea that this person is possibly coming back, but it's what you want, the Page of Caps. And it could be that you may not have a lot of information to go off of. 
Maybe there's a certain weakness that you have towards this person. And I don't typically see the Five of Pentacles as weakness. But you're definitely vulnerable here. So with your Two of Pentacles coming up in your external energy, there is definitely a lot of decisions that need to be made. But I kind of get the sense that really the Two of Pentacles is about really focusing on what you need to do at the moment and not necessarily be so focused on making choices. I feel like it's more of like, let's make a decision. What are you willing to com commit to? And then commit to it and, you know, work on that in that regard. Like, in, for instance, are you willing to be open to receive love? Um, are you going to commit to that path? Some of you guys have already committed to that path, which is why there's a lot of back and forth in within you guys. I feel like instead of just giving me something easy to look at, like the five of wands, we got cards that go in a different directions and then hang man. Like, I feel like the tug and pull, excuse me, the push and pull is really you trying to recircuit your security system. Some of you guys, it may be that you guys are not quite sure about this individual and you're not sure if this is someone you want to be open to, but you want to be open to them because I think there's feelings. You feel something for them, but they remind you of a time when you were the most happy or they remind you of a time where things were, you know, they remind you of a time before you lost your innocence. Because that's what the two, the six of cups can, uh, can talk about sometimes talk about a time before you know the loss of innocence and it's like you know you're understanding and noticing a reaction in yourself and you're trying to change it not because it's bad but because that's what you want to do it's for you it's truly for you which is why you're trying to figure out if it's worth the trouble to do all that because it's leaving you depleted it's leaving you empty it's leaving you feeling really exhausted so let's go ahead and take a look at the Whispers of Love. Okay, damn. Three cards. So you guys have spent quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with and listening and talking to each other. Then you guys have cherish your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. And then speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. That could be referencing to that page of cups that we see with the Knight of Swords. Maybe this is somebody coming in to express their love to you or you expressing their love, you know, your love for them. And it could be not even love, right? It could be interest. You expressing your interest in someone. Let's see what the surrender to power, uh, sorry, the power of surrender card says. Because, I mean, death is talking about surrendering something, sacrificing something, letting go of something. The hangman is, you know, sur you know, surrendering to something too. They're both surrendering cards, you know, making space. Death is letting go of something, but you know what that something is after the hangman. It's almost like you guys had something that you were releasing, but there's something else that you're trying to figure out what is whether or not it's, you know, worth your time or energy or not. Because it's, I don't know if you're getting a lot out of it that five of pentacles so the hangman is in your extreme energy there's not a lot of surrendering in, in there with the knight of swords it's two contradicting cards motion against non-motion All right, two cards from the Power of Surrender. Let's see what we got. Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale 
the tension you're you build up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center and then you guys have surrender stubbornness if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become very become more yielding and gently is definitely key word here this will help you communicate more lovingly with others in yourself because i don't think you guys are really being you know mean to yourselves or hating yourselves or anything like that some of you guys may have you know something like that going on but i don't think for most of you i don't think that's happening mostly because you guys are trying to get what you want you're trying to make yourselves happy and you're also trying to protect yourself at the same time so of course that doesn't tell me that that doesn't that doesn't show me that somebody's trying to be terrible oh my gosh i really hate that this thing i just wish it would focus but it's all good um yeah but i don't feel like this situation right here i don't think none of this is telling me that you guys hate yourselves or be mean to yourselves i do think that there is a push and pull like your natural mechanism with what you want right your natural you know your mind your self-defense system versus what your heart's desire is it's clashing i kind of get the vibe it's clashing and it's you know it's because of you know what we just talked about you want to protect yourself i think ultimately with death is like recognizing what you can't give any more effort to fighting against something because emotionally you're not satisfied with it you're not happy with it and it's leaving you emotionally drained you know you're sustainable by yourself and it may be that there's other people around you that's draining your energy and you're tired of it maybe being by yourself is what you desire and stuff and that could be it too right but i kind of get this vibe that some of you guys are just like wanting to have a community where you guys feel like you belong Wow, I just can't believe it's not going to focus back, but it's all good. I kind of just get that feeling, though. Like, you guys want to belong somewhere. But most importantly, you want to feel, like, safe when you do it. You don't want to just put yourself out there like you had before and feel like, you know, you're left out in the cold, feeling alone. And usually the Five of Pentacles is by themselves. This is something that's struggling with another person. It's a constant struggle. But at least, you know, there's something that you can work towards. There's some there's options available. And I kind of get this feeling that you may not be aware of those options, which is why there's, you know, the hangman coming up saying perhaps slowing it down or maybe taking a moment to really see something differently from a different perspective instead of tunnel visioning it. Because the Knight of Swords is going to think about, you know, bulldozing his way through everything that he can possibly... Yeah, he's going to bulldoze it. That's what he thinks he's going to do. And I feel like with the hangman, it's like, yeah, you could try or you could just like slow down and look around and see if you can see another way in. 